Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be unboxing my Louis Vuitton purse. So I popped my lounge underwear hoodie on because I thought we need to get really cosy for this video because this is exciting. This was something that was like a dream of mine and I really didn't expect to get it for Christmas. In fact it was something that I had obviously mentioned that I wanted and I would have liked and I kind of talked myself into the way that I was only going to get it. Um, if you don't know me, I'm kind of, is it superstitious you call it? Where I wouldn't buy myself a purse because that's bad luck in my eyes. Um, so I would probably give someone the money and they would um, go and buy me it like a month later or something. But with my money. Um, so yeah, that's probably the way I'd work it. <laughs> and... I am just incredibly grateful for this purse and I'm incredibly grateful that I have this sitting in front of me right now. So if you didn't watch my What I Got For Christmas video, um, then you wouldn't have seen that I got my first Louis Vuitton item. Now, oh my goodness, <laughs> I literally melted. Um, I talked about that a little bit more in my What I Got For Christmas video, so I will leave that down below. Or if you just want to see anything else I got, then I will leave that down below as well. But um, if you are just here just to see the unboxing and you're not a returning subscriber and it's like, go and just shut up now and get onto it, then I will. <laughs> but just so you guys know that I have on boxed a few other designer bits um, on my channel so I will leave a playlist to those down below if that's kind of like what you like to watch um, or that's kind of what you want to watch right now so okay I'm hopefully going to be unboxing more in the future actually I know I'm going to be unboxing more in the future I've got one to unbox in February which I'm so excited for um, and it's something that you guys won't know it's not a purse it's not a bag you just need to stick around and see what it is so yeah i hope you guys enjoy today's video don't forget to smash like thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get on to unboxing this purse As I said in the intro, for you that don't know, this is the Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet. So I'm just going to talk about quickly how it was packaged. So I've kind of tried to put it back together, but if you do know how to tie the ribbon around the box again, then please let me know because I literally kept it how it was and have tied these two bits together. So it's not right. But when I take the ribbon off, this it pulls out like a drawer and it has my little receipt um, care thing um, and also my little gift note in there from my mum um, and then it has the dust bag inside the little drawer and this is just the cutest little thing ever um, I'm just so in love with it and I really can't believe I've got this in my hand. Okay, so just like I said in the intro, this is the Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet and I have mine in kind of like the pattern of the monogram canvas, that's what they call it. And I also have my interior in the colour fuchsia. So I wasn't too fast whether I wanted the rose ballerine or I wanted the fuchsia. To be perfectly honest, the fuchsia is probably best because the rose ballerine will show up any dirty mark that you get on it as the darker colour of obviously it won't as much plus it will go with absolutely anything plus when my dreams eventually come true and I have and I can afford to buy myself a Louis Vuitton handbag I do want it in red or fuchsia inside because I just I just like the look of that so as I said I have mine in my classic monogram and all of the zip is like gold as well as this little bit here and the monogram goes around so it is upside down on one side and it's okay in the other because it, it just doesn't end it's not got like a seam at the bottom and starts again it just goes all the way around so it's quite a slim purse it's really thin there um, and I really like this because I do like a big purse but I do like this one as well because I wouldn't say this is a small purse I would say this is like your average big purse um, just not as big as my Michael Kors one. I did upload that video um, soon or it's coming. I can't remember. But the interior is absolutely gorgeous. Like this fuchsia colour, honestly. You really need it in front of you to see how beautiful it actually is. But inside, it is just, it kind of just 
mirror images itself. So it's all fuchsia, it's all that leather and then in the middle the little coin pouch bit is the same design as the outside. So on each side you have got four card holders and an area for money which I put in there, I put notes in there. And then you have this big space. Now my mobile phone wouldn't fit in there or it would but it would just kind of really be tight. Um, so I wouldn't tend to do it. I've got the Love Pro Max just for anybody wondering. So I do have a larger phone. Um, but if you have a smaller phone, then this is probably really good for your phone as well. And then it just mirror images itself. And the other side, you've got another four um, card spaces. And a place for um, your notes as well. And then just another space there. And then again, the gold detailing. The little zip has got a little LV on it. I don't know if you will be able to see that. I don't know if it will focus, but it does have a LV on it. And it is quite large in there. That is just a brown leather in there. Um, I don't feel like this purse holds a massive amount of coins, but to be perfectly honest, I don't hold, like, I don't have a lot of coins anyway. When I do have a lot of coins, I tend to chuck them in a money jar, or when I'm in a shop, I'll like kind of hand them over and pay with those to get rid of them so don't carry a lot all the time anyway um, and to be fair I do normally pay by card rather than cash so it's probably really really good for me as well so I don't feel like this purse would be good for a person with a lot of cards um, I would spoke about in my Michael Kors one that that purse is really really good for people with loads of cards um, and I feel like I would benefit from those spaces but I would also benefit from just these four spaces because I have four eight um, I would benefit from these eight spaces and there's also masses amount there if you just wanted to kind of pop a few little cards in but I can pick out my eight cards that I normally use and pop them in here and if I need any more I can grab them and just slip them in the little sides bit or use another purse obviously that's not what you want to do with getting this but um yeah I do have another purse there obviously if you did watch that video but that's just the purse as a whole I absolutely love it oh so much um and it is so 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 gorgeous honestly when i first had it in my hands i was like i've never felt this before like it is crazy it's so surreal to be in my hands and i, I appreciate it so 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 I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!